part of my belt that was defective. A little chewed up, actually. And I think that's what was... Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, it's not exactly RC related, but uh, I'm going to be doing a belt change on my Prusa Mini 3D printer. Now I just received this Prusa Mini recently and I've noticed that I've been getting layer shifts on my prints, as you can see here. And no matter what kind of adjustments I tried to make, I could not get it to print perfectly. And so I kind of looked around and I happened to notice that I probably had a defective belt. If you can see here, you can see my belt is kind of ripping away or loosening up. Uh, you can see how it's being stretched. A little chewed up there. And so I think this is what's causing my layer shifts. No matter how much I adjust it, uh, I think this just keeps getting worse and worse. So I went ahead and bought some new uh, X-axis belts for the Prism Mini. Unfortunately, there are no instructions online on how to replace the belt for the Prism Mini. So I figured it out and I'm going to be sharing it with you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to loosen the tension on the belt. And to do that, you'll start by loosening this up right here. And then loosening the tension on the side here. Alright, now that the tension is loosened up, we'll need to move over the, the carriage and start removing some of this assembly here. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove a few screws to allow you to remove the fan here. Those screws removed, you should now be able to remove the fan. Just pivot it up like that. And there we go, the fan is removed. Now to remove the rest of the carriage off the assembly, you'll need to access this screw here that is now exposed after removing the fan. With the carriage now exposed, you can proceed with removing the belt. And there you go, the belt is removed on one side and thankfully Prusa made it so that you could access both sides of this module right here so you could just thread the belt through give you a better angle of what I'm doing see here there's a hole here so we 
won't exactly thread out, but I think you'll get what I'm saying. It'll be important when you put the new belt on to thread it through here. And that's the removal of the old belt. Now you can see the part of my belt that was defective. A little chewed up actually. And I think that's what was causing the uh, the slack. Here is the new belt that I got from Prusa. This is the Belta X. Go ahead and open this up. And we'll want to put this bottom part on first. Thread it through. Thread it through on this side as well. Thread it all the way through. Look at the side to make sure the belts are centered on the pulley. Right. Now with this end put on, we want to increase the tension on this so we can pull this uh, belt to where we need it to be. I can see the tension getting there, so I'm going to reassemble the carriage before I tighten it up any further.
So I hope this was helpful for you Prusa Mini owners that needed to change the X axis belt since there are no instructions out there. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. And the only thing left is to adjust the tension on this. And thanks for watching.